Hey there, Improv Tipsters. Welcome back to Improv Tips, where I and some of the best improvisers in the world give you improv tips and advice to make you a better, more confident, and happier improviser wherever you are in your improv journey. I am, as always, your host, Paul Valencourt. Let's begin. Our guest tip for today is Gary Ware. Now, I first became aware of Gary on LinkedIn, of all places. You usually get my improv information from... Uh, <laughs> from Facebook and from Instagram and from personal contacts. But I first uh, came in contact with him on LinkedIn and by following him and checking out some of the stuff he was doing, I was like really interested and liked what he was doing. And then I found out he's an improviser to boot. And I was like, all right, you have to give an improv tip. And he was uh, very nice to accommodate uh, that request. Gary is also a TEDx speaker. His TED Talk Ding Ding is down below. It's really great. I really recommend checking that out as well. In his bio, there was something that really struck me that I want to share with you in case you don't read what, what I write in the, in the show notes. And he says that he seeks to infuse improv with positive psychology so that his students leave with a renewed sense of life. What a great goal. What a great goal for improv. Like that's that, that alone. Uh, is is why he's here to uh, to give an improv tip. But he has also so many other things and so many other experiences, ding, ding, down below, to share. And, and I love his tip because it's so wide-ranging, has such such great implication, the power of why. And um, and reminded me of so many tips that rather than ding, ding, ding it up, I just made this ding, ding, this one playlist of all the different videos that this one relates to, to sort of like put it in a universe. If you're enjoying the improv tips, please consider subscribing and liking and leaving a comment down below. Tell us what you think, uh, if you have any questions or comments, or just join the conversation that we're having here uh, on improv tips. But now, without any further ado, please sit back, relax, and enjoy Gary Ware. Thank you so much, Paul, for that amazing intro. And today I'm going to talk about a single word that has the ability to give so much sort of lift to your scenes to allow them to be rich, to allow you to discover, and to allow you to take it to that next place. And the word is why. And this is not about that TED Talk that has a similar name. Um, the whole thing here is asking why. Why something is important to you as a character, to the scene, has the ability to increase the trajectory and the three areas um opening and initiations uh deep in relationships and then the third is when we <laughs> go to crazy town uh so the first area let's just dive into it is openings and initiations um in some formats um you know especially like if you're doing heralds uh, you're going to use uh, devices like monologues as a way to explore the suge suggestion and get inspiration for your scenes. And I've noticed in my work and in watching shows how easy it can be to just talk about the thing. And when you do that, you tend to stay at a surface level. Um, and then you naturally get inspiration about the thing. But when you're in that sort of monologue stage and you're talking about it, if you explain why, why this is important to you personally, it will give you ammo for more complex and interesting scenes. So, you know, take, for example, um, if your suggestion is calculator and, you know, you're exploring, you know, different, you know, areas of calculator, uh, but you talked about, you know, why calculators are important to you. You know, for example, uh, this is true, um, is that uh, when I was younger, my dad had this thing about calculators is a cheating way of doing math. So I was terribly afraid to use a calculator because I would be, you know, thought I would be labeled as a cheater. However, I'm not that good at math. And so because I was scared of using calculators, every time I did... I had this feeling that I was um, going to get into trouble until a professor actually came up to me and said, that's dumb. Uh, but again, you know, using that, there's so much that you can pull from that as you start to explore your scene. So that's the first area. On to area two of how you can use why as a way to deepen your work. And this is when you're in a scene. Uh, this is something that I've learned from the ever so fabulous Dana Powell uh, when uh, taking a workshop uh, from her. And when you find yourself in a scene with a scene partner and you're 
you know, a little bit stagnant and you're like, what do we do? Instead of trying to invent something new, it's a great technique just to really dive deep. Is you say, you know, here's the thing. And then you state why something's important to you or how you, why you feel a certain way. And in that moment, the here's the thing and then in explaining it, it's like the, the audience is like, Ooh, and they start to lean in. And this is going to be a great signal for like, oh, things are about to get real. What I have to say is important. And then the final area, um, this is something that I continuously work on, is when you find yourself in a scene that is going off into crazy town. What I mean by crazy town, maybe some absurd scene where you're just you know being wacky. I, I love getting to these areas. However, you know, if you're not being careful, these scenes can just really go off the rail and then you find yourself inventing rather than discovering. And so if you find yourself in crazy town and you're talking about something that's uh, you know a bit absurd, if you explain why this is important for um, your your character or you know for the scene, you start to base it in reality. Uh, another example, a, a team that I coach, they um, found themselves in a reality where they needed to skin dogs um, you know, you know, just in general, and they needed dog skins. And again, it's sort of like a, a 101 Dalmatian situation. However, um, the, you know, the, the person in the scene, he looked at a scene partner and he said, this is so important. Winter is coming. If we do not skin these dogs and use their hides as coats. We're going to freeze. And again, it immediately grounded the scene in this absurd reality. So that was just three examples of why it's important to explore the why in your scenes as a mechanic to deepen the scenes and to get information that will help you just take your scenes to the next level. So I hope this was helpful in some way, shape or form. And as you're out on stage, doing your craft, you find yourself asking yourself, hmm, why? And using it to your advantage. So till next time, take care. Thanks all. Hey friends, thanks for checking out the video. And uh, if you wanna hear a little bit more, check out one of these two quality videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links are in the description down below. And let me know what you would like to see an improv tip about. Thanks for watching.